you guys, what's up? It's me, Kayla, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be sitting down and answering your questions all about my crazy lip balm collection. You guys are always asking me so many different types of questions about my collection, and I can understand why. I mean, it's definitely like not the norm to collect a bunch of chapstick. So a lot of the times, people ask me a lot of questions just about my lip balms in general, which ones I like, which ones I hate, why I collect them in the first place, and so on and so forth. So I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me questions related to my lip balm collection. So if this video sounds interesting to you, then definitely just keep watching. All right, so the first question I see comes from Kayla and Van LOL. Shout out to you, girl. How did you get so obsessed with lip balms? I love you so much. I love you too. And honestly, it all started when I was 13 years old. My one friend always used EOS and she would always tell me how amazing and smooth they were. And she would apply them like every five seconds when we would FaceTime each other. So she really made me want to try them. So I remember it was a rainy day and me, my grandma, and my brother were at Toys R Us. But anyway, I remember finding the Strawberry Sorbet EOS and I begged my grandma to get it and she got it for me. And I remember getting in the car and putting it on and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is the most amazing thing ever. I actually took like little bites out of it because I was that obsessed. Then I wanted to get all the EOS. And then after I had all the EOS, then I started to get into baby lips and then lip smacker. And then for a while, I only collected those three brands and then I just kind of like branched off eventually. So it all started with a single strawberry sorbet EOS. That is what started it all. Good question. What is your least favorite lip balm? Okay, my least favorite lip balm is this bacon flavored one and it literally smells like burning rubber, pee, and like paint drying on a wall. It's awful. I also really dislike these minion ones that I have. I mean, the packaging is adorably deceiving um, cause they smell also like paints and weird chemicals. So I don't like either of those. If you guys want me to do a video on my favorite and least favorite lip balms in the future, definitely let me know cause I can totally do that for you. My eyeball's itchy. Okay, let's see what the next question is. Ooh, okay, so this question comes from Kayla.Ann.Fan, and she wants to know, what is your favorite Taste Beauty lip balm? <sighs> that is such a hard question. I love my Taste Beauty lip balms because there's just so much variety. So my favorite Taste Beauty lip balm has to be this PB&J one because it's so cute. It reminds me of one of the mini brand thingies. And um, look, it has a literal peanut butter and jelly swirl. Um, to be honest, this doesn't really smell like anything. Maybe it did at one point, but it is kind of old. Um, the reason that I love it is just because it's so satisfying. Like the packaging is satisfying, the size, and then like I said, the peanut butter and jelly swirl. So this same fan account also asked me, do you like ordering lip balms online or buying them in person better? I love you. I love you too. Thank you for your question. And honestly, I would have to say that I like ordering them online better because for some reason, everything just looks more appealing online. I don't know why that is. It just happens to be that way for me anyway. Um, and then there's like the anticipation of getting it. So that's super exciting. And yeah, for me... I personally like ordering online more because it gives me something to look forward to even after I order it. And you could find really cool lip balms online that you can't find in stores. Okay, I knew this question was coming. What is your favorite lip balm? So my favorite lip balm of all time is actually sitting in front of me right now. It is this Wedding Cake Jumbo Lip Cess Lip Balm. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I, it's like so good I can't even like believe that it's real. I used a lot of it, I don't know if you could tell, but like it used to be completely filled to the rims and now it is not and I only made it like a week ago. Oh my gosh. And then look, I took a little bite out of the corner. I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but I took a bite right there because it's so good. Like it's freakishly amazingly good. And I just had to swallow my saliva because it is that mouth-watering. Um, that wedding cake jumbo, as I'm filming this, is currently not available. Unfortunately, it is sold out. But I'm thinking about making it permanent. So we will see, though. How many lip balms do you own? <sighs> Who wants to count for me? Um, to be honest, I really don't know. I'm thinking around 6,000. How many bins of lip balm do you have? Um, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I have eighteen. I mean, some of those 
bins were technically drawers, but they're kind of like bins. Next question. What is your favorite lip balm brand? Um, my favorite lip balm brand, other than my own, of course, is Lip Smacker. I love Lip Smacker because they have so much history behind them. And you know, your girl loves vintage things. And whenever I'm able to find like vintage Lip Smackers somewhere online, I am like, girl, hop right on that. Do you ever get judged or bullied by people because you have so many lip balms? I love you. I love you too. Thank you for your question. Of course, you know, there are internet trolls that's say things about my collection and how obnoxious and ridiculous it is and how I'm a hoarder and it's wasteful and I can never use this many lip balms in an entire lifetime. And yeah, so I definitely like get crap for it, but I do not care in the slightest. What lip balm makes your mouth water? Literally, okay, I have two. So my wedding cake one, like I said, it's my favorite. And then also the birthday cake ice cream lip zest. That one, oh, that one also makes my mouth water. Oh my gosh, literally, these are my two favorite lip balms ever. What lip balm do you regret buying the most? Okay, I actually have a very easy answer to this. Um, I wish I could like find it right now and show it to you, but I'd have to dig through my collection and I don't wanna do that right now. But my biggest regret with a lip balm purchase would have to be this medicated one I found at Whole Foods. It was for a challenge that I was doing on my channel. Um, cheap lip balms versus expensive lip balms. It was like a shopping challenge. I spent like, I think $17 on this lip balm that was supposed to be like magically healing. And it smelled awful. It literally smelled like a sanitary band-aid and the texture was absolutely awful. I actually wanted to like it because I spent so much on it, but like I couldn't take it back either because it's a lip balm and I opened it. If it weren't for that YouTube video I was making, I would have never in a million years picked it out. What is your least favorite lip smacker? <sighs> mm. So for the longest time, I really disliked the papaya flavor by Lip Smacker. I'm trying to think if there's one that I dislike even more than that. Another one that I don't really like is Honey. And also, for some reason, their classic strawberry. It just smells kind of plasticky to me. And it's just like very generic. So I'm going to have to go with those ones. This is a very popular question. It comes from Savannah. And she asks, how much money do you think you've spent on your lip balm collection? <laughs> Like, easily over $10,000. Easily over $10,000. I honestly don't know the exact amounts. So, it's probably a lot of money, though. Um, but, hey, it makes me happy. So, what the hey? You only live once, right? Do you ever regret spending so much money on lip balm? No, I don't. Because, well, there are a million reasons. A, it's literally a hobby that so many other people enjoy. Not just me, but it's like literally something that so many people enjoy. So it's a hobby. Also, my collection gives me some great content for my YouTube channel. This next question is another one that I get asked quite frequently, and it is, did your parents like you collecting lip balm when you first started? Um, so I guess like in general, do my parents care that I collect lip balm? Do they have a problem with it? Do they think it's weird? All of that jazz. Um, like I am being completely and totally honest. My parents could care less. Like they actually think it's, neat my mom actually gets excited for me whenever i get new lip balms she likes smelling them with me and yeah my dad doesn't care either i mean i'm also an adult like i'm 21 years old and if i want to spend my hard-earned money on flavored wax so be it i can do that you know what i mean but like even when i was younger they didn't really care it keeps me busy it keeps me happy and it's a harmless hobby that's not hurting anyone. So I don't know why they would care. All right, guys, the last question I'm going to be answering is just a very fun, lighthearted one. And I love answering this question. And it is, what is your favorite thing about collecting lip balms? <sighs> I feel like there are so many ways that I could answer this question. Um, but I'll just tell you like the main reasons why I love it. So first of all, the variety is insane and it's limitless. I mean, there are literally thousands and thousands and thousands of lip balms that I still don't have to believe it or not. Um, like there's so many different variations and colors and shapes and sizes and scents and flavors and textures and it's just limitless. 
And also I know so many other people enjoy this as well. So it's really fun connecting with other collectors and seeing what their favorite lip balms are and things like that. And overall, it just makes me super happy. And I think that it's really important to do things in life that make you happy, regardless of what that looks like to other people, because obviously this isn't exactly a normal hobby, but normal is boring anyway. So I say do what makes you happy, girl, and live with no regrets. Anyways, you guys, that was all for my lip balm Q&A. If you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And the question of the day is, what is your favorite lip balm and why is it your favorite? Even if you don't collect lip balms and you have like maybe five in your house, which one is your favorite? Let me know what the flavor is and why you like it. But I love you and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.